Oh my god, what are we going to do about this team? Hello everybody and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm your host, Adam Peddle. You have nothing to say, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog, guys. I was just right over there filming the minute monologue reacting to that blow up of a game and wow mm. we got a lot we are definitely going to be getting into that yeah. some back and forth conversation yes, on yes. what the hell is going to go on with we this team definitely will and we're going to be talking about everything baseball for you guys so strap in and get ready for it but before we do that guys please make sure to like subscribe comment down below if you enjoy this channel you enjoy this content uh, we just hit 2.2 subscribers Woo! today so thank you to all of you also shout out to our patreon members we love ya uh i think we had a, a uppage today or, we or this did. past week we got I to believe the 20 dollar tier steven ben with the big uppage with the big uppage really appreciate that yeah, steven yeah, like yeah. for shout real man. You, man for that real means so much dude that means so much and also guys if you want to help us out with our sponsors today jace is our code for monkey knife fight for manscape so use it check it out yeah, baby. all right man so i know everyone's waiting for our take on the blue jays for a take on charlie mm -hmm. for taking all this but before mm -hmm. we get into that let's talk a little bit of baseball mm -hmm. yeah 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 um, i was holding off on doing a minute monologue on this man because first off it happened or the news broke at like roughly 11 last night mm -hmm. but also too i actually didn't know what to say at that time and what i'm referring to guys is marcel ozuna being arrested uh going to jail um i guess he's being charged with uh right now assault um apparently the reports were that he he was strangling his wife uh, there was a domestic dispute mm. uh police said that they saw him hit her with a cast um mm -hmm. just not acceptable stuff mm -hmm. uh, like really truthfully horrible stuff man yeah. um any thoughts on that? Well, obviously, just pure, not yeah, acceptable. Yeah. Like that's 100%. one thousand percent, just all across. No matter who you are, I don't care if you're a pro athlete or your regular person. This should be charged the exact same way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. MLB is looking to investigate to yeah. see. However, I think truly, and you know, as much as the I wanted Marcelo Zuna to become a great player for the Atlanta Braves, well, I think he was a great he, player, and he and he was. Um, I think this has got to go even further. Just MLB investigation. This has got to go to the law, which well, he is being. He has been arrested. Yeah, I mean, for this aggravated is, yeah, assault. Yeah, this is definitely so. you know one hundred percent. Like this is going to be a legal matter, and mm -hmm. he could face jail time. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the yep. details of this. It sucks. Um, so I get, we had to toss that out. But also too, it's like this not only sucks for all of that, but also for the Atlanta Braves, because they just signed this guy to a four-year mm -hmm. deal in this past offseason. He was coming off of a great year. Uh, I owned him in fantasy at one point, and he was elite. So it's just, it's really too bad, but I it's also think that they have to crack down on this. And if you're doing that, you cannot be allowed back into the team because mm -hmm. that is going to bring down everything. The yep. morale, the players surrounding him. If I'm a player... I don't want to be playing with that guy if I know no. that he's doing shit like that. No. So this is just, it's really sucky for everyone involved. Um, yeah. That's my thoughts. Yeah. My, that's my thoughts. The future of Marcelo Zuna is yet to be determined. Um, we got to see the, obviously, what happens afterwards. Maybe there's some trial. What, are, what is going on? But mm -hmm. as of right now, it's not a good look for Marcelo Zuna. No. And quite frankly, if you are found guilty, then, um, I'm sorry, but I, I can't, I don't want to see this guy really playing major league no, baseball. No, 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 definitely not, man. So yeah, we definitely had to get that mm -hmm. out of the way. And this also sucks for the Atlanta Braves because they're not doing too hot right now no. either. You know, it's no. like they have Acuna popping off, but it's like a lot of their other guys are not being elite right now. No. So, I mean, that's a team. Hopefully they can figure it out. Yeah. Um, a couple so, other teams. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Are you going to transition? Yeah, or? it was a little bit. I was going to say another guy who's actually not popping yeah. off. Yeah is uh is francisco lindor is oh, absolutely sucking man. i i made a video room on him potentially gonna break out and i i, I still kind of stand by it i think there's still <laughs> kind of stand by i think there's still a chance it's just a little mechanical adjustment he needs to, and a mental adjustment to be honest i need yeah. to make but it's getting even harder to make a mental adjustment when you're getting booed by your own fans at city field he's last week He's a slash line of 136, an on base oh of 174. Oh my god! A slugging yeah. of 270, 273. So it's bad, boys. This 10-year, three, 
$341 million. $34.1 million a year is not looking too good. What are good. they going to do? Yeah, what do, you th- what, are you, what do you think they should do? What, what do you think is going to happen? I have no idea, man, but this is one of those things where this could actually sink a franchise. Yeah. This could actually sink a franchise. Now, I'm still holding out hope that Lindor turns it around. We were this close as Blue Jays to trading for him. So we were we were almost there. I'm happy that we dodged that bullet at yeah. this point. But this could actually sink their franchise if Lindor is incapable of turning it around. And I'm telling you right now, Mets fans, you aren't doing him any favors no. by booing him when for he comes real. up to the plate. He knows that he's doing shitty right for now. For real. He knows. This isn't going to help him break out of this slump. But if he continues, man, and they get, they, they get strapped to this guy, this is like... Chris Davis on Baltimore all over again, yes. but even worse. Even worse. Even worse. 10 years for a guy who's 27. He's going to be 37, man. I would hate, and I would oh hate this from gosh. a baseball point of view. I would just hate to see the Mets who were coming up. They were in the up and up. Young guys. I felt Alonso, so good about it. Lindor, DeGrom's finally got the offense. Yeah. They're one of the worst offenses in baseball right now next to the Pittsburgh Pirates. So oh. that's bad. Feel bad for the guy. I do hope he can bounce around. He yeah. just needs to make I still, those changes. Dude, I still think he's 27 years old. It might Lots not be this year. Like I'm telling you right now, guys, with the booing, with everything, the mental's not going to be right. So it might not be this year. You might need 100. to wait for next season. But I do uh, anticipate him to turn it around at some point. 100%. So hopefully, Mets, <laughs> it will, it will <laughs> happen. Um, this team's not going to turn it around. It's the Baltimore Orioles, man. Last 13... It mm. has been a bunch of L's. That Ew. sucks. And they ain't the only ones. Arizona Diamondbacks, a bunch yeah. of L's, too. 13 in a row. Yeah, both teams, 13 in a row. Yeah. Wow. How would you feel? If um, we went, I don't even. Well, like, here's the thing. If, uh, well, uh, Arizona and Baltimore are in the same boat where I'm looking at my division and I'm thinking, I don't have a, I don't have a chance. Right. I just don't have a chance. Right. So what I'm feeling like is this season is a complete wash. Yeah. Let's get a nice draft pick next year. Yeah. And let's re let's continue our rebuild. Dude, I guess if I'm the Baltimore Orioles right now, I'm just like, okay, doke, Adley Richmond. Here yep. it's it's yep. your turn now. See, I'd feel um, better as Baltimore than and, than Arizona, because at least Arizona, you know, they still have some guys that are actually competitive. Like right. they have Catel Marte, uh, Eduardo Escobar, what? David Peralta, and Madison. Gardner. They gotta ship him off, man. They gotta go. They gotta ship him off. I think is what has to happen, dude, because they're clearly not competing right now. So, I mean, that sucks. Uh, a team who is doing really well in our division mm. as well. This is ridiculous. I sort of bet on these guys to go under on their win percentage. I'm clearly going to lose my money. It's, it's the Tampa Bay Rays. What's their last fifteen? Their last fifteen. They are fourteen and one. Their last not uh, last ten. They are nine and one. They had that giant win streak, as we all know, against us. Oh, my God. Um, and they're on top of the AL East, 34-20. and 20, And, wow, yeah, they're, they're exceptional. Who plays on that team? Like, the, I, I, it's dude. like I know, but, like, but like really? Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Dude, it's um, – I've, I've probably said this a thousand times. We're not playing the players. We're facing the fucking nerds up yeah. in the booth yeah. that are going, nee, nee, nee. hey, you should pitch this guy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you should pitch this guy in this situation and make it only go three innings. Oh, nee, nee. We're nerds. Yeah. Trust us. And yeah, dude. We're literally working. facing a they're bunch working. of Brad Pitts and Jonah Hills. For real. And they're just for straight real. up like, for real. Beep, 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 calculate, beep, beep. calculate. Like, I don't need to watch the games. No. Like, I just look at the numbers. I'm just and like, God And it's working. It. And, and it's working. <laughs> so, you know what? Good on them. Good on them. I was hoping that you guys would be an easy team to yeah, beat this year, but literally. yet again, yet you again, surprised me. You're proving me wrong. And yeah. that's why you're the AL champs. Literally. Um, literally so um, what? another team that's kind of uh, doing a little bit a little bit worse, and this is another team. If Tampa Bay Ray is going to be sick, we got to beat this team out for wild card, and that's mm. the New York Yankees. They got swept by the Tigers this weekend, so that was really bad. Uh, and Cole started one of those games, and they lost. 
Uh, so the Cole did well too. Yeah, and they still lost. And they still lost. Eh? And they still Dude, lost. That Yankee offense is not what we no. thought that Yankee offense no. would be, guys. And I will admit they've been dealing with their fair share of injuries too. Yeah. Like Stanton just came back. Luke Voigt, literally the leader of home runs last year, he's barely even touched the field. So I feel for them in that regard. Mm. But also guys like DJ Lemayhu underperforming right now. Um, like and a couple other guys too, like Clint Frazier not being what Very we thought Clint bad. Frazier was gonna be. It just feels like across the board, maybe other than Aaron Judge, like everyone's kind of doing a little bit worse than we yeah. thought that they would. Um, when Stanton was healthy, he was a monster. Right, right. Um, and he just came back, so maybe they'll be better now. But I'm I'm not going to complain when the Yankees are For dropping real. games to the Detroit Tigers. For real. No, I, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. However, you know... What I'm not liking is the whole situation, and then we're going to get into this a little bit more, a little uh -huh. hint towards it, but for another ALS team, the Toronto Blue Jays, is our bullpen is absolutely bad. That's our cold sore yeah. on the entire team. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's rough, buddy. Yeah. It's rough. I definitely want to get into that a little bit later, but But I think before... it might be time. <laughs> It's my favorite part, dude. I love, really I love introing this. Ooh, yeah. I love introing this. Yeah, okay, I'll, get ready, everybody. I'll assist. Get ready. I'll do a little Yeah, do a little action. assist. Do a little assist. <laughs> but I believe, guys, it is time. We've all seen the play. But it is now time for the weekly... <laughs> well, guys, you all knew it was coming. I mean, we don't even need to say what it is because I know you guys know. But it was the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, the Javier Baez play. did a dum dum. Mm -hmm. Specifically, who was the dumbest of the dumb? In my opinion, the dumbest of the dumb of the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> I don't even know his first fucking name. I just looked at video. His, name's, his last name is Craig38 on the oh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Craig. First baseman. Um, yeah, so Javier Baez hit a ground ball to third base. Uh, throw across the diamond. Mm. Javier Baez plants his feet. <laughs> and Craig is just like... Oh, I got to tag him. And then he's like chasing after him. And then we all know the blow up. He throws to home. He's safe. Have your bias safe at first. Wild throw goes second. He's safe. Really dumb play. All he had to do was step on first base behind him. Yeah, first base behind him and the, just, the play was I'm over. I'm thinking about uh, Pat McAfee. Like, <laughs> Pat McAfee's literally a football guy. He has a Pat McAfee show. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Talk show just like us. We kind of want to be him, but mm. for baseball. <laughs> Um, but he straight up just tweeted out, man, like, this guy doesn't watch baseball. He's just like, sell the team. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Yo, Yo, like, you well, couldn't yes. be more right. Well, you yes. You couldn't be more right. You know? That looked like Pee Wee. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, that looked like even worse, man. That looked like fucking House League, bro. Like, yeah. that's bad. It looks like like it backyard baseball. Yeah. Like, you've never was, even, you don't even know the world. The bra his brain was literally off. It must have turned off. It was literally, it, it was just autopilot. Off. I'm going to tag. Yeah. It's like when I'm yeah. in Rocket League and I'm getting tired and I'm just chasing the ball all uh -huh. the time, you know? It's like, just, I don't know what I'm doing. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it was, it was dumb, guys. Yeah, I would dumb. say that up until this point, like, we've been a little loosey-goosey with the weekly dum-dum, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but this is by far truly, the dumbest. Yeah. Truly the dumbest. Truly the dumbest, man. Um, All right. Time to transition. Yeah. Let's talk about what we did this past yes. week. Yes. So yes. even though we did lose this past game, yep. I think we still were positive on the week. Four and three on the week. Very, okay. very good. Let's start with the positives. Let's yeah. get off this yeah. on a on a positive note. Yeah, I want to hear the positives, baby. I gotta feel a little bit better yeah. after that whole shenanigan. Oh, buddy. All right. Well, lots of good positive notes. The offense is just, mwah. Mm. it's just beautiful. It's like a fine wine, dude. It's it gets beautiful. better with it's age. It's getting better. It's literally getting better. I don't have the the top numbers off my head, but I know that we're top five in almost every category like there's some everything. top eight some top five some top four but we're top five in a lot and that's mm -hmm. due to Simeon Bichette Guerrero Hernandez Grichik and Guriel getting hot mm -hmm. all those guys mm -hmm. have been exceptional this past week and and like the J of the week you know this is the end of May and I kind of want to give a little shout out to Marcus Simeon for this month of May okay I yeah. truly think this guy should be considered player of the month for may yeah 100 i hear you dude they were showing the uh like pre uh prior to this game the contestants and uh marcus simeon across the board like the slash has oh. been elite the production has been elite there's a couple of the guys up there who could potentially do it but mm -hmm. as far as us man like 
I've just continuously been wowed by what mm -hmm. he is doing on the field, Incredible. defensively, offensively, in clutch moments, in not clutch moments. Yeah. It, it doesn't seem to matter. No. Um, he's just doing his job. He's earning his 18 mil, and he deserves the bag oh, after 100%, 100%. this season. And if it weren't for that blow up in the second game, he would have drove in the the game winning the run. The game winning run, buddy. He yeah. literally would have. It, 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 that's what I mean. Clutch. He's Again, literally clutch. Doesn't seem to matter. Um, but we're gonna get to that. Still, pitching performances. There were some good ones. There was some great pitching performances. You know? This actually, I want, really want to shout out this guy this week. I don't. Know, he made some mechanical adjustments. Yeah. All right, they showed it on the broadcast. He did make a lot with his leg kick, his 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 uh, wind up, his arm slot. And that's Ross Stripling. Yeah. He, Chicken strap. He was awesome. He pitched 12 innings, only giving up one earned run, 10 strikeouts, three walks, four hits, wow. giving him an ERA of 0 0.75 Not and a whip bad, buddy. of 0 0.58. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. Good job. That's pretty nice. For our, that deserves for our, one of these. For our five hole pitcher, if you want to call him, I consider him our fifth kind of guy. Because he would be yeah, the next four or five. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Um, Exceptional. Yeah, very Exceptional. good. Very good. So I'm super happy with that, man. Um, as far as what we didn't do too well in, uh, I think yeah. it's pretty clear, and it's highlighted by this last game. Uh, the bullpen, they blew it. Tyler Chatwood, four straight walks in a row, 31 pitches. Only seven of those went for strikes. I posted a minute monologue. And we've been seeing the tweets. A lot of this, a lot of this heat is falling on the shoulders of Charlie Montoya. I want to hear what you have to say about this whole situation. Um, I kind of gave my two cents mm. on that minute monologue. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about it. But yeah, let yeah, me yeah. know what you think about this. All right. Well, first game of this doubleheader, um, I, I love like we just said, Stripling's been exceptional. He's mm -hmm. figuring it out. And he was around, I, again, don't know the number straight off the top of my head, but it was like mid-60s pitch count, low 70s maybe. I believe it was 67 pitches. 67 pitches Stripling was after five no earned runs. Yeah, really good. So my my thought, and if I'm thinking, like, again, well, this isn't a video game, but if mm -hmm. I'm managing my my team, my, my bullpen, and, yep. you know, and MLB The Show... Of course I got to let him keep going. Mm -hmm. I got another game after this. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't want to tire out that pen, especially saving those guys. So, at least go into the six. He didn't. He put in Dolis, which, um, you know, I believe we both were, like, kind of questioning, like, okay, yeah. why didn't yeah. he keep him going? Uh -huh. Regardless, Dolis did well. Then Romano came in, closed it out, did exceptional. Mm -hmm. But then you leave it open. And then in the second game... Uh, Mats gets a little bit blown up. I believe it was in that. So it was in six. the sixth. Yes. There was an error on Espinal, and then it was like hit, hit, hit. You know, from from Mats. Yes, yes. They started getting there, and I believe that uh, it was three to four mm -hmm. when we put in Tyler Chat. Would correct me, Chat, if I'm wrong yeah, on three that. Three to one. four, or four to. Four. I can't remember because he did get up um, four earned runs or two earned runs. It was yeah, an but, Espinal error too. Yes, yeah. exactly. But uh, but basically, T Chatwood came in, and then they did tie the game. I mm -hmm. believe off of Chatwood. Again, correct mm. me if I'm wrong, guys. And then he got out of it, and we right. were going into the seventh tide. Right, right. So then that whole situation, you know, Chadwood comes in in relief. Um, it's the bottom of the seventh. We actually get the, the, the go-ahead run by Marcus Simeon. Mm -hmm. We're up 5-4. Uh, and then there was zero command on Chatwood. All right, he walks four people, yeah. walks in the tying run. But here's my thing. Um, yes, I'm agreeing with a lot of people are saying, even Joe Siddle said this, if you let... Ross Stripling, go another inning, you save Dolis. You put Romano in, you win that, cool. And then you have two options instead of one. Now, will that make a big difference? We don't know. It's woulda, shoulda, coulda. Yes. However, that would have gave you two options rather than one. What I don't like is the amount of heat that he got last week, and you said it in your last minute, mon in your minute monologue, mm -hmm. last week, where they were like, oh, you should have let a veteran guy chat would go longer instead of a rookie guy in Bergen. Same situation happened this week, where 
Chatwood comes in, no command again, mm -hmm. and who's up getting ready to relief and uh, take him out in case he gets into trouble is Castro, another rookie guy. Yeah. So he's getting flashbacks, and I'm I'm sad that the media influenced him and all the fans influenced him to not go with Castro when he clearly walked three guys in a row, had zero command. I had a good. I was like 90% sure he was going about to walk in another run, uh, walk in the game time run, which he did. Well, he did. Yeah. So so basically, my two cents is. He shouldn't have gone with the media and the fans, and he should have took out Castro. Fuck what people are saying about doing that. I think you got to go with it. He clearly has no command. Put in Castro. He's been better than him. I, I agree late. with you, man. I also think, too, part of it, it's not only just the media. He did it last week, and it came back to bite him in the ass. Right. So I do think that, like, maybe on that end, he was like, oh, maybe, like, I should just keep Chatwood in. Like, Chatwood was probably yelling at me all week because Chatwood was being pretty rude after that last start. He literally left the game. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just think it was a bad situation. I think that you're right about the Dolis, the Romano thing. I also think we need to look, though, and think, well, in that situation, if we even had Dolis, because I still think Romano probably would have closed that last yes, game. Maybe have. Stripling goes six, and then Romano comes in. It's yeah. still a save situation. Um, so maybe we have Dolis now, and we have Chatwood. Mm. Does that change anything? Do we still put Chatwood in? Do mm. we put in Dolis, who's got a five ERA at this yeah, point? Yeah, that's that's true. I don't know. This is all of the question marks. So yes, there was a, a mishap on Charlie to. T uh, take out Stripling and do that. Mm -hmm. But I also think the blame needs to be put on the guy who was on the mound, who after last weekend literally got up in arms, left the game because he got taken out in the exact same situation. You get paid way more money than I've made in my entire life, Tyler Chatwood. You have to throw strikes. And this just comes... It just adds to the narrative that we need more bullpen. Yeah. This strategy would have worked if... Chatwood could throw some strikes. So right. let's and let's control what we can, which is getting some more bullpen, in my opinion. I could absolutely agree. No more than that is Chatwood. You've been rough. It's time to go look for some bullpen. Yeah. Um, yeah buddy. Speaking of which, just a couple more little pieces of news. Uh, just to kind of round it off here is we DFA Ty Ty Tice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Bergen went to the 10-day IL with a shoulder impigment. Well, that's too bad. Yep. I mean, what else is new with our freaking hospital <laughs> love with baseball team? You Tommy know? Malone got transferred to the 60-day IL. So, again, our bullpen. Like, literally, if you were to ask me who is in our bullpen, I would say Dolis, Chatwood, Romano, and Castro. I actually... I struggle. I actually don't know. Trent oh, Thornton? We added... Yes, Trent Thornton, yes. <laughs> we added Carl Edwards Jr. today. Okay. Um, who's used to be really good, actually, a uh, 29-year-old, and for 159 innings for four years from 15 to 18, had a 3.06 ERA, so maybe, oh, you know, pretty good. All right, happy with that, happy with that. Um, but I actually, there's so many roster moves. I'm going to be honest, I'm a horrible Blue Jays broadcast, now, or not broadcast, well, an analyst. Yeah. I don't know. I actually don't know. It's but, tough. It's tough to keep track, dude. But I think the point is that we will be coming out with a video maybe this week, maybe in the coming weeks about guys that we need to be targeting for yes. this bullpen because it is hurt. It is banged up. And the guys that we do have can't always be trusted. Romano has looked really good, but Dolis has been shaky with his command. Clearly, Chatwood can't be trusted anymore. And Castro, like you said, we don't want to be putting these rookie guys in the high leverage situations. So we need some more freaking guys. Agreed. With that being said, talking about some rookies, talking about about some young boys. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to do my favorite part of this show, yeah, baby, which is to announce the day of the week. All right, everybody, it's time for the J of the week. And this week, yes, the offense has been exceptional. And yes, we said before that Simeon deserves to be the J of the fucking month. Mm -hmm. But this guy deserves to be J of the week because he came up out of a struggling bullpen, a kind of rough situation in the pitching rotation. And he came up and he delivered against one of our division rivals, New York oh, Yankees. Yes. Alec Manoa, baby, you get the J of the week. Wasn't flashy in terms of overall production numbers, but six innings, seven strikeouts, two walks, no one runs, two hits, gets his W in his debut. Yeah. That's acceptable. That's better than most pitchers can say on our team. So yes. Alec Manoa, congratulations. Yeah, Alec Manoa had a gem of a game and he looked awesome. He looked like he'd been playing Major League Baseball for three years, man. He looked like a veteran up there. The run on that two-seamer was incredible. He was sequencing his pitches beautifully. If anything, 
this just opened the window as to what we can expect in a year in two years. This guy's going to be part of this rotation. He's going to be big for this team when we make playoff pushes. Could even be this year. So he deserves Jay of the Week mm -hmm. because I think even though Stripling may have had a better overall production, maybe Simeon did a little bit better overall, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to come up and do that against the New York Yankees in your first ever start, in your debut, when your mom is straight up having a heart attack <laughs> over in the stands, Incredible. screaming as loud as she Incredible. was. Honestly, maybe she deserves to be Jay of the Week. Yeah, for real. That, that, was was a great, that was a great fan performance. Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> um, but just so it's good. Awesome. So, so good, dude. And it's such a bright spot on the whole, the whole situation with our pitching and our team. Like, obviously, we need pitching. We've said a thousand million freaking times. It's just such a bright spot, and yes. he was the, the most notable J of the week, yes, so yes, gotta give it to yes. him. Literally, bro. Okay, with all of this being said, with mm -hmm. this past week, with the bullpen woes, with Charlie being like, blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine? He's just like, like <laughs> Pete Walker's like, Charlie, what should we do? Should we take shot one out? He goes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> bro, like, when... when <laughs> <laughs> when Chatwin starts throwing balls, dude, yeah, like yeah. it just slowly starts devolving. Yeah, you know? he's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like the Walker's looking at the the dugout like guys, I don't guys, know what to I do. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh <laughs> dude, I actually that is what I picture his brain going yeah, like yeah. when Chatwood starts missing all over the place again. Oh, it's like because you see him over there like doing this with his thumbs, and I can only imagine he's like, I'm gonna get it after this game. Yeah, like yeah. they are gonna be all over oh, me. My God. And it's like Bing, bing, bing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't do anything right. Yeah. It's 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 like literally it's your fucking fault, Chatwood. <laughs> literally, you've walked like I think he walked one in the last inning. So like five dudes. Oh, he was a walk like, machine. Dude, today. you're he bad, was, he bro. Was a walk machine, bro. Anyways, so Anyways, salty about yeah, that. Yeah, literally. Um, let's talk about this coming yes. week, dude. The competition doesn't get easier. Nope. Well, actually, I guess the first series is pretty nice. The first series isn't bad. I was expecting because it is the Miami Marlins for uh -huh. two Miami Marlins for two games. Uh -huh. I'm just looking up their win uh, loss record right now. Right. But the pitching is is, is their good pitcher is good Alcantara. pitching. Alcantara uh, and Lopez. I think it's uh, Pablo Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. It, it's tough, boys. So that's gonna be a tough one. And then after that, for Friday's game, mm -hmm. we have. Houston Astros yet again, who oh. I think, and you said in the, this past week in your um, video breakdown, they were yeah. first in average. They, offense has been their awesome. offense is doing really good, guys. My they God. have some studs over there, um, yeah. so that's going to be a hard matchup for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then, do we have anyone else to close out the week, or is that it? That is literally it. We have okay. five games this week. Okay. So, so, oh wow, a little bit of a shorter a baseball shorter week. week then. Yep. Okay, Monday and Thursday off. So let's take a look and let's focus in on the Miami two series. Uh, two game series uh -huh. is on Tuesday. We actually have Robbie Ray going, uh, th who against Alcantara. Yeah. Uh, Robbie Ray holds a 3.81 ERA. Alcantara, 3.46. Oh, Alcantara is pretty nice. It's eh? pretty nice. What we do we should honestly look at maybe trading for Alcantara. It's a good idea. Video. Although, like, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I mean, his contract good. must be pretty nice because he's young, though, right? He's a younger dude. He's yeah. Younger. Well, look, anyway. Well, look, we'll look into it. We'll look into Either it. Either way, that game, um, it's tough I'm just going to say that we're going to take it because yeah. I think that in the end, our offense will do enough, mm -hmm. and hopefully the bullpen can blow it. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, I'm saying we're taking it. I do think we're going to take it, too. Uh, just straight up, like, our offense has been unreal, and it's like Ray versus Miami offense that... I could be totally ignorant. I, I look, I think they're pretty bleak. I don't right. really, no one's standing out on that team for me. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think we're going to take that two, take two sub four guys. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, we got our boy, Jay of the Week, Alec Manoa, going up against Lopez. Alec Manoa is holding a zero ERA, and Lopez, though, with a 2.71 ERA. Oh, 2.71, eh? It's really good. I just, like, I don't want to say that the Miami Marlins are going to beat us, no. so I'm just going to say that we're going to take that one, too. I think we're going to ride the hot hand in Alec Manoa, and we're going to take that oh, one, too. We're going to so sweep dude, them. bro, like another six inning, no earned runs. Jesus, Give me that. Man. Give like, me that. Just, just literally finish me right here, Alec Manoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then for the weekend series, Houston Astros on Friday, we got a 
Battle of the Ices. Mm. Hunjin Ryu versus Zach Grinky. Very similar pitchers. Man. Very similar. Very pitchers. similar, dude. Like these are guys that work with straight command, and they are some of the best in the game at it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give the edge to Grinky on this one, though. I say that he that yes. we lose this one. I because I, I was gonna say the same thing, not because I don't like Ryu, but I think it's because last time we faced Grinky, he did have our number. It was the Pearson start. Oh, was it? I actually yes. thought we did. We oh wait, no, no we got four we got runs him, against dude. him. I think we You're got him. Right. I think we got him, and actually, that was part of the reason why I think that we're going to lose this time. I don't think a guy like Zach Grinky gets mm. got twice in a row against us. Right. I think he's going to do his scouting report, and I think that offense being as good as it is mm -hmm. is going to be capable to take one out. I'm just going to give it yeah. to him. Yeah, and I think Houston is I, – I don't know. I just have a feeling that like Houston's going to mess up Ryu a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I just – if that's, gonna be, if that's going to be a close game, bro, let's look at it this way. If that's going to be a close game, mm -hmm. like we're talking about it, like it may be, well, then our bullpen's going to have to come out again. Ooh, that's and you true. think that our bullpen can't yeah, yeah, handle yeah. the freaking Cleveland Indians? How are they going to do about the Houston Astros? That's true. Like, I think it's going to be like 3-3 three, three in, into the fifth or sixth, and then both starters are going to be gone, right. and then bullpen. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We can't make it. Give it to them. Give can't them make them. it. Saturday, we got our bully, Chicken Strip, Chicken versus... Strip. Urquity. Ah, I keep pronouncing his name quitty, wrong. You're Quitty. I think. I could be butchering it too, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so this is where it comes down to do I trust the mechanical adjustments of the chicken strip? Versus the Houston Astros. Versus the Houston Astros. Uh, what do we have going on Sunday? I got to decide if. Mats versus Valdez, and Valdez is holding a 2.25 year Oh, uh, man. All right. I don't know which one, but we're going to take one of those games. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to take both. Your quitty, your quitty, whatever, is coming off of an injury. He, I think he's going to be cold. Yeah, you know, I, I agree. I think we're going to take one. I don't know which one. I'm going to say stripling just because, like, you know. Chicken strip. Chicken strip. Uh, so that would make us three and two for three our predictions. Two. I think that three and two is pretty accurate yeah. this week. I think we can take the Miami Marlins. Yeah. And then the Houston Astros. It will be tough. If we can win that Ryu start, though, oh. I like our chances yep. to go four and one. 100%. Um, so, yeah, buddy. That's the predictions for the week. Woo! Uh, we did the J of the week. We did the dum dum. We did mm -hmm. the news. Mm -hmm. It's now time for the wheel. <laughs> The spinning fortune, baseball, colorful, future determining, stat analyzing, and uh, it's a wheel that we spin every week. And it's time for that wheel. So, buddy. Yeah. Another week. Another L for next team. All right. Yes. Hop on Adam's bandwagon, guys. I'm saying it right now. This well, is not looking good. Nick, you have seven points. Seven categories taken. I have 16. Oh so, yes, God. it's getting a little bit bigger. I won two last week. I won Guerrero home runs, Guerrero RBI, six RBIs, oh. three home runs. And then you won the Matt strikeouts with 14. Wow. So, you got it. Yeah, Guerrero's just literally taking dude. you to the finish line, buddy. Dude, I keep picking him. And, dude, I just like, I just... have to hope that one week. Tio can be better yeah. than Guerrero. It's, uh, it no, just it's has tough. to happen. Guerrero's yet, bro. just MVP, just bro. I gotta hop up, hop on the MVP wagon. Either way, it is my turn to pick this week, guys. We're looking for a sweep because if we want to get back in this game, I desperately need it. Um, mm. If it's looking this bleak at like All Star break, then I've been saying it. <laughs> might need to get Game Two going on for second half of the season. All right, all right. But for now, let's spin that wheel. Go. All right. All right. What's what it going to be? For? Uh, for? I don't even know, man. I, clearly, I can't pick anything properly at this point. Bonus play. Well, that's something we can do. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So next category, uh, Nick will pick two. He yes. can choose whether he goes first or second. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, give me something good here. Give me something good. I got to pick flat. <laughs> yeah, you do, bro. And it's ERA for e pitchers. E okay. For pitchers, eh? Or starters, yeah, for the starters. It has to be starters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta be starter, eh? <laughs> so they, they all should go once next week. Damn. That's gonna be this tough. is actually tough Yo. because now I'm thinking about the matchups, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. just like, I much prefer Ryu, but I also think. Oh man, do I do this? Oh man, I'm thinking. You get to pick two players. Oh, I do get to pick And do you wanna two use players. do you wanna pick it first? That's your thing. Okay, in that instance. 
I, I will be picking first here, mm -hmm. and I am going to lock down Hunjin Ryu. I'm going to lock okay. him down. Okay. And then oh, it's up to you who you want to do, and I'll pick my second one next. Yo, for real? I'm going Alec Manoa. I was literally, that I'm was my going other Alec one. Manoa. And I figured, you know what? I could either go Manoa or Ray, so I'm going to be picking Robbie Ray because yeah, he does yeah. go against Miami, yes, he right? Does. Yeah. Okay, so I'll take Ma Robbie Ray and Hunjin Ryu. Oh. I, I feel like I got diversity, yeah. but you got the upside, baby. You yeah, got the big yeah, upside yeah. There. If he can stay scoreless against Miami's like offense, like, I'm liking it. I'm yeah, liking yeah. it. Yeah. What's the, is there like an innings cap here? Like if Montoya is silly and there's like only like three innings on him, does that still count or? Um, no, well he, he shouldn't. So let's do it. Like, let's say if someone goes scoreless, if they both go score, whoever went more innings. And if they go tied then in innings, then we uh, split it. Okay. Let's do okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So that's the first category. I think I can win that one. Yeah. Just need one good game out of one of those two boys. Yeah. All right. What is it going to be? What's it going to be? Home runs again. Oh, Third week in a row. Runs. All right. Um, all right. Damn it. I don't want to go first this time. I, it's got to happen eventually. Tio's got to be better than Vlad eventually. So feel free to go first. Pick your guy. Yeah, I'm going And I'll pick Tio. <laughs> That's three weeks in a row. It's three weeks in a row. It has to happen one of these <laughs> weeks, man. Like... We keep talking about this guy like he's got 40 home run potential. Yeah. So, I, like, I do think it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But so does Vlad now. Vlad's got 40 home run I potential. Know, you I know, know but oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. You got to pick Another this last one. one. It will be my turn to pick first. What's it going to be? Ooh, K for batters. Yeah, K, K for batters. K for batters, eh? Yeah, I'm just yeah, K for, K batter. for batter. Yep, K for batter. Um, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Want me to want me to help you kind of give? The, I only have the top six. Oh, I, I didn't mean, record. I didn't record any of the strikeouts. Yeah, I I do have a player in mind, um, but I'm not sure if he's the right choice. Uh, this is a tough one, guys. Um, I hate to pick against him, but I do think that Bo Bichette. Mm -hmm. is going to be striking out a lot. When you get to 0-2 counts, you're either going to drill it or, or you're going to strike out. Mm -hmm. and, and I would only imagine that his strikeout numbers are probably pretty high. And I could be totally wrong on this, mm -hmm. but I think when I was looking up <clears throat> like leaders for the Jays mm -hmm. for like the wine on wine, I think the leader in the team right now in strikeouts, as crazy as it seems, is Marcus Simeon. Mm -hmm. I could believe crazy, it. I could believe know? it. I see him strike out sometimes yeah. on, on the leadoff spot. So, Not as much recently, but yeah. Um, so like the only consistent six that are gonna play is like Guriel, you know, Grichik, the usuals, To pick blah, blah, one blah. of the boys. Who's gonna have a down week this week? But Simeon strikes out so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, uh, not nah. you know what? I am gonna go Simeon just because I know he's the team leader okay. in yeah. the strikeouts. Yeah, no, that's he's fair. gonna have a great week, but you know, gotta try. You can still drill crazy home runs and, and strike, strike out, out a bunch. You oh, know, absolutely. like look at Pete Alonso's like league leading home run. Year, yeah, yeah, you know, so it can definitely still happen, yeah. man. You can still be good and strike out. Yeah, but guys, cool. that is the wheels. Yes. I need some categories. I need some stuff. <laughs> and uh, and that's also the Blue Jays Today Show. Woo! So if you guys made it all the way to the end, then congratulate yourselves because I think this was a long one. And I know that we can uh, we can talk for quite a while. So um, pat on the back to you yeah. guys for making it to the end. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Do the whole shebang. $3 a month will make you a Patreon member. Use today, Jays, to do either of our sponsors. Um, merchandise, that's a thing. Oh, yeah. Um, that's totally a thing. Yeah, yeah you can I buy never, a shirt. ever shirt. No, that for real. Anymore. You could buy like a t shirt or a hoodie, boys and girls. It's uh, it's pretty good. I've got some good feedback on the hoodie. So, black yeah. hoodie, we got like our Blue Jays City logo on the front. So, it's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Uh, check it out. You can look cool. Yeah, absolutely, guys. And I also want to hear your thoughts and comments as to what mm -hmm. is going to be happening this week and also what should the Jays do about Charlie Montoya? Yes. Is this all to blame or do we just need to go out, get some better relief pitchers and, and hope that, uh, that it can come around? So Absolutely. let us know in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. And say it with me. Go, go Jays, go! go!